Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles. With a knowledgeable sales staff and amazing service departments, you'll drive away satisfied. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City, MackeyMotors.com. Casey Miners, Kill Broadcasting Sports Network, joined the East Sac County Boys Cross Country team. You guys joined here on at State today. Parker, your last time running at State. What are some of the things you're going to take away from today? Uh, really just matters if you lead down the course. And, you know, I mean, you can't really, you can't determine the whole season on one thing. And that really, I don't know, it's kind of a hard question to answer, really. Uh, where were you feel like you were your best throughout the race? Was Did you get out to a good start in the beginning, the middle, or towards the end? First mile felt pretty good. I feel like I was in a good position. I just couldn't, I couldn't stick with it the second mile. And I got too back on myself. Yep, and then yep, third nice. mile, I just wasn't in a good position. I got hocked down by a few people and just ended up in 20th place. Cold weather today. You think that played a little bit into how you ran? Uh, yes and no. I mean, I don't really think it made like changed the way I ran a whole bunch. But I will say the pain that my chest, and my throat had, and my nose when I got done it was pretty bad. Okay, so, move. We we will move on to Isaiah. You're also a senior too. Uh, what are some of the things you're going to take away from being down here at State? Uh, well, this is my first time running. You know, it's a lot different environment than the rest. A lot more people, a lot quicker pace, trying to stick with that lead group, you know, pushing yourself, especially towards the end. Where do you feel like you were at your strongest during the race, and did the cold weather kind of play into where you finished? Um. Cold weather kind of affected breathing, you know, just the nose mostly, you can't use it much in this type of condition. So, uh, the strongest part on our race is probably our third mile. Me and Patrick started passing to get back up to 15. At one point, I was there. We just lost a little bit towards the end of the race. We'll move on to Landon. Landon, you're with a group of sophomores that ran down here at State. What are some of the things you can take away from this probably being your first time down here? Get out early, because if you don't, there's a lot of people behind you, you're going to get caught. So you got to get out fast, run as best as you can. What are some of the things you're going to take away for potentially, to, to potentially come down here next year again? Um, find a kid that you can stick the pace with, and just run as hard as you can. Leave nothing in the tank. <laughs> Move on to Owen now. Owen, getting to run here at State. How do you keep the body warm, uh, you know, compared to having to run in these chilly conditions before you start? Uh, well, I was never really warm. I'm freezing, but you wear tights yeah. and just heavy clothes. How do you feel you were at during the race? Do you feel you were strongest at the beginning, the middle, or towards the end? Uh, I feel like the strongest was the beginning. The end was very bad for me, but it is what it is. Let's move on to Riley now. A sophomore running down here at State Cross Country. What are some of the things you can take away from running down here at State? Um, stick with somebody and don't fall behind. What was kind of the team mindset coming into today? You guys had a chance to came in the ninth, I believe, the ninth ranked team at State today. I think you finished nine out of fifteen. Uh, what was kind of the mindset for the team coming into today? Uh, I don't really know, just run your best, and do what you do, I guess. Move on to Xander. Xander getting to run down here at State Cross Country in Fort Dodge for the first time. Did you kind of know what the course would look like before coming down here today? Um, I came up here last year when Parker and Landon ran, and I kind of scouted out the course with that when they were all warming up. So I had a good idea of what I was doing today. Do you think that played into how you how you finished today, and you know some of the things you could take away going into next year? Um, probably. Yeah, studying a course is really good before you run it, and it's very good to do. Okay. Thank you for joining us.